Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up. Well, I finally managed to um, get all the new polytunnel parts down here into the allotments and uh, I'm going to give you a quick look over it now and let you see what the crack is with it. Okay, so this is what it is. It's supplied by Robinson's Polytunnels and it's the 12 foot ultra polytunnel. And it's got uh, quite an extensive set of uh, description and directions what to do full colour drawings in there so you know, don't get lost and this is the instructions for the gutter the aluminium gutters come with it and to be honest with you this comes with so much gear here it all is here so you can see the hoops and this is 12 foot wide by 18 foot long so it's a three section four hoop polytunnel and it's got all the timber that you would need in it and this timber is all good and strong. Most of these timbers are three and a half inch by an inch and a half. Good, strong, stout timbers. And they are for the door frames at either end. There's double doors at either end. And all the timber is supplied um, for the doors and the door frames. And we've also got these long timbers. Some of them are for the base rail and the side rail. And that enables this tunnel to have a ventilation section at the bottom, such as a netting. Now, I'll just make you look over here, my tunnel. You see, I've got a side rail and a base rail on my tunnel that I retrofitted. And the idea was that I was gonna replace some of that plastic with netting for ventilation. And four years down the line, five years, however long, I've never got round to it. But this has got it all ready here. And the netting is all supplied here. The shorter of the two packages is the netting and the plastic is the other one. So that all comes part and parcel of it. There are also crop bars. And if we look up here at my tunnel, these are crop bars that go across the top. You can hang things like hang things like hanging baskets or as I do, I put canes and Long lengths of timber that I can't fit anywhere else up there. They'll all be coming down now for the growing season. So, there we go, that's that part. Now, you can see it's all wrapped up and, you know, it looks like it's never been out of the packaging. And that's because it hasn't. A friend of mine bought it uh, in 2019, so two years ago when at that stage he wanted a second polytunnel. He's already got one up and I'll show you that in a minute. So we got this second one. Now, life has dictated that he can no longer use this one. He knows how eager I am for my gardening and he sold me this at an incredibly good price. The tunnel was the best part of a grand and I've bought it special mates rates for 250 which I'm ecstatic over. Um, you can see I've got all the fittings in here. Bags and bags of fittings, screws, nails, brackets. I mean, there's even door, uh, the door spikes so that you can open and close the door and, and all the fittings for the base rails and the doors and the side rails, all neatly packaged up and he emailed me last night and thinks he's found uh, an irrigation system for it as well in the shed. He was looking for the hotspot tape and found the irrigation system, would you believe? <laughs> so, yeah, you could say I'm rather fortunate, very happy, very thankful and extremely excited about getting this tunnel up. The overall height is 7 foot 6 inches, which is the same height as this tunnel. There's seven foot six inches in here. But whereas if you look over to the hoops, they're kind of round. If they're the older uh, commercial design, that's how they were made, sort of. I, I think this old frame of mine is probably 30 or 40 years old. Um, but the straight sides are pretty much non-existent. On this one, you can see on these hoops, if I come along this hoop, you can see the straight part. And it's about three and a half foot straight size and then a gentle curve. 
So it means you can plant with tall plants right up to the edge of it, maximizing the space inside the tunnel. So yeah, it's got everything going for it and I've probably missed out half of the stuff. I mean, it's got the proper foundation tubes down here and these are a decent length to support the tunnel. And within this lot, I have seen them somewhere. Oh, yeah, I think they're in here. Yeah, at the bottom there. There are the anchor plates to go on the bottom of the tubes. Everything is there. And he's bought much more fittings to go with it as well, like these P-clips here. Let's just zoom in a bit. They fit around the tube and leave you with a, a couple of tabs that you can put a bolt through so you can bolt extra things to the tunnel. So, for instance, staging, that sort of thing, or wire supports for for growing anything up, you know. So there's those extras. And I don't know where they are, but there's, there's so many extra fittings within this lot that he bought to go with it, which is why the price rocketed up to the best part of a grand, as I say. So, yeah, I'm a very, very, very lucky boy. And as my missus says, rainbows and unicorns. So this is a, a Robinson's 14 foot ultra tunnel. So it's 14 foot wide and it's 20 foot long. Mine is 12 foot wide and only 18 foot long. But you can see how good it is and how good it looks. I mean, I won't go in, but I just thought for interest's sake, you might like to see it. So, there we go, as I say, I'm well pleased with what I've got. So yeah, I've been incredibly fortunate and I'm in extremely grateful to, to my mate for, for doing that for us. I mean, he knows he's, um, I'm gonna get best, best use out of it, really good use out of it. And I suppose the cream of the cream of the crop for this really is the fact that he's going to help me put it up as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's really, really good. And I've also been busy this last couple of days with another little project up at home. I noticed, or one of my neighbours noticed, that another neighbour was getting rid of a deck. So I've managed to recycle that as well. So all that needed dragging around into my garden, taking apart and denailing. All the rotten wood needs disposed of or fetched down here and burned, which is probably what I'll end up doing. And all the all the decking boards itself are in pretty good nick. So they've all been denailed and just yesterday afternoon I finished off pressure washing all the long bits. I think they're 65, eight foot lengths or something, which is just phenomenal. So whereas I've got that long row of beds out the front of the plot there, I'll be able to do that same volume I think out the back here for my flowers uh, so that'll be a project for next winter so that they say they're all pressure washed which will bring up the grain get rid of the muck and old paint uh, and I just need to dry them out now and then I can put some some nice spirit based paint on there to preserve them and then next winter I can whack these beds up which would be fantastic it's another step forward for the plot so that's probably, that is, well, it's not probably, that's the reason why there's been a shortage of videos from me in these last few days, um, even though I put one up this morning about, well, this stuff here, this lettuce and that. So anyway, got this one to come, or you've finished watching it now, actually, <laughs> because that's it for today. Look after yourselves, everyone. Please take care. Stay safe. I'll see you very, very soon. Ta-ra now.